We jump serve to disrupt the serve receive with speed and power. The ultimate disruption, however, comes from a jump serve cut shot. Imagine the serve receivers dug in and expecting a hard swing to the last five feet of the court, and you drop a smooth cut to zone two for an untouched ace. Your ability to work hard jump serves in the seams and every so often throw a change up short is the ultimate deception. As you go back to serve, everything from your starting position to your routine is the same. Before you toss, feel the feeling in your shoulder and your hand and imagine the ball tracking through the air to your desired area. Releasing the tension in your arm is key to this serve and it starts with your mindset. Visualize a loose arm and breathe through any tension you have. Young players think it's the same feeling, but different toss and hand angle. But to truly let the tension go in your arm is what will make it look like the same serve with a completely different outcome. As you toss, we want that ball to land a little shorter than normal and move a touch higher. This trajectory will allow you to make a clean and fluid swing and contact the ball slightly further back so you can drop it short. Do not toss the ball straight up though. Having a huge discrepancy between tosses will trigger the alarm in the serve receive and they will automatically be ready to make a faster move because they know you can't produce the power you do with your normal toss. The toss is the critical skill, like any serve. So practicing the routine and the small adjustment in your toss will help you to perform the shot efficiently and it will keep the serve receive dug in. Once that toss is in the air, our rhythm and footwork stay the same except our slight adjustment for the different toss. Do not make this a dramatic change because our cover will be blown. Our body should look the same as our normal jump serve all the way until we get into our swoosh position. In the swoosh position, we want to relax our arm. Your arm should continue through the ball with a consistent speed. Keep it consistent so your contact on the ball can be consistent. The momentum from your body and the smooth speed will make up for the loose arm. Depending on physicality and age, your arm tension should be more or less. More for younger players, less for elite players. Finding that sweet spot will happen through practice. Finally, the contact is crucial. Your arm needs to swing around the ball. Think about your forearm and hand creating a J. The hand should contact the ball on the top half of the ball and on the right side, roughly at two o'clock if the ball was a clock. This is a cut shot. So the cut is in reference to slicing the far edge of the ball to create excessive spin to create extreme angles. So to recap, toss a little shorter and higher. Tossing normal will not create the arc needed to drop short. You should be loose, not stiff. Loose allows you to take speed off the ball and create extreme angles. Stiff will limit the angles and will force this ball deeper into the court where the serve receivers are. Cut the ball. Your hand should wrap or cup around the ball to create the spin and angle necessary to find the short zones. Perform this skill with freedom. Balls will likely travel under the net at first or deep in the court. Keep figuring out the perfect mix where you can catch the serve receivers dug in and hit the 10 foot line.